Hi, Joan. We're down here in Puyallup, which is about 30 miles south of Seattle. And what we're looking at is a sign that uh, RCN Limited just had made up for our, a show that we're attending this weekend. This is the 1st of February, and we're attending the 9th Annual Northwest Model Exposition. And what this is, a chance for people to get together and show off their boats, planes, cars, and trains, etc. And also a chance to the manufacturers to come up and show off their wares. And it also gives us a chance to talk to the different model manufacturers. There's my wife's Hawaii Kai. We got a slow motion for one of the uh, fellas. He's even put a couple of his model engines in cases here. We got the Budweiser, the Squire Shop, Notre Dame, Dollar Bill. Good representation of all the boats that are run in this area. RC Unlimited's was the first club of its kind to organize races specifically for 1-8 scale hydros. The club now boasts nearly 100 members and features an 11 race circuit from May through September throughout Washington and Oregon. Considered to be the utmost authority on scale model and limiteds, Roger Newton has designed over half of the models racing today, as well as being one of the sport's top drivers. When I was a kid growing up, uh, I always ran, I started out running tether boats, and then I went in the service after high school. When I got out in uh, the mid-60s, um, I always thought it'd be nice to run a radio-controlled model hydro. And uh, I was fortunate at that time they were coming out with the, n the new style of radios that we run nowadays, which are called proportional. And I, my first boat that I built was a model of the Notre Dame. And I competed in the Seattle Model Yacht Club with that in the, in the open 60 Hydro class. Fortunate enough to win the first race I was in. So uh, we got the idea germinated in our head that uh, maybe we should separate from the open Hydro class and run nothing but scales. And that's basically how it got started in 1974. At our first race, I believe we had 15 Hydros here.
The um, Miss Budweiser with seven, six seconds now on the clock as Roger Newton decides to take the inside lane. He's going to be challenged by all the rest as they come across the line. We've got a legal start. M. the Budweiser with Roger Newton takes the inside lane and shows them the short way around the course. Followed by the 72 Budweiser and the old boy Alberto the Timex and trailing is the Alice Van Lines. Good competition into the bridge turn. Whoa! And oh! The Miss Budweiser goes over and a lap penalty. The old boy Alberto got into this one by virtue of winning the consolation race. Howard Price is out front in the Diamond Cup. He's being trailed by the Miss Timex. Mike Hamilton in third place overall. It's Jeff Hunter's Atlas Van Lines. Dave Blackston is in last place overall by virtue of a violation. All right, here comes the old boy Alberto. Across the finish line, the winner of the Diamond Cup. Oh boy, Alberto, Howard Price.
Way to go, man. Okay, we got the clock reset. Is everybody ready to go and heat 1A? Good start, good start. We have the Roberto on the inside. The right guy on the outside. Step up, step up. Let's step up, step up. Lane 1, take away from by the wind three. Go ahead and down in there. Get the horse down a little bit. Be aware, coming out out of the water, the 1982 Atlas Van Lines and the Pay and Pack of Bill Smiley. Coming to the water also, the Miss 711 of Dave Blackston. We've got a collection of the fastest RC Unlimited boats in the world right here, competing for the Gold Cup, 1993, Ellensburg, Washington. Still looking for the Thor Racing, Bill Amick out of Portland, Oregon, the defending RCU season champion. Let's have a good start. Nobody jump. We don't want to be worried about penalties here. First two, the pay and pack, and the 7-Eleven have jumped the gun. 
Oh, we have a dead boat in the right hand turn. He's about in lane six. Their leader is a tri Moran pan pack of David Jensen. Watch the dead boat. Second. Second place boat is Don Mock. Third place is a Miss Budweiser. Fourth is the pan pack. David Jensen coming around to complete lap number four. Still in pursuit is Don Mock. Four laps down, white flag lap, one to go. It's a pan pack with a half a lap to go, leading Don Mock in the Atlas van lines. Watch the dead boat, here we come, your winner, pan pack. Second place boat is the Atlas van lines. I'm not sure where the rest of the boats are as far as third place go. David, that was an amazing run. I'd be interviewing the second place driver, but I am the second place driver, but you beat me again and again and again, but I don't think I'm ever going to get that close. Did you let me catch up? No, not at all, Don. You were on my hip the whole way, and I was just doing all I could to stay ahead of you. The water was really rough out there, and it was crazy. It was crazy. It got nuts. The dead boats everywhere, so we were... Uh, yeah, going up the back stretch them, back yeah. there it was a little tight, and I saw you duck inside the same one. I'm like, whoa, it was, it was close. Eighth Gold Cup. I can't believe it. It's uh, it's my favorite race. Definitely my favorite race. I've been racing about 15 years, and it's uh, unbelievable. Always been my favorite race. All right, off the start down there, guys. A lot of thunder underneath those tents. I can't see anybody. They're going to the water. Here come the drivers. They got a long run to get up to the driver's stand here. We're down to 218 till the start. And we got a couple more. There goes the Atlas van lines out there. Thousand Trails. Steve Olson driving. Makes it out onto the course. One, two, three, four, five, six boats. Looks like we've got two more to come out. Coming around for the start. All right. First boat's over. I think I believe the Thousand Trails has jumped the gun. Thousand Trails has jumped. There your lead boat, Davey. Atlas Van Lines, Don Mock driving, followed by the Spirit Air Force. And the Circus Circus. Don't forget that cowling on the back stretch. One lap down for your leader. Here we go, a finish. Atlas Spirit. Is that a finish for the Madison? Circus. Uh, one more lap to go for Thousand. How on the water. Hallmark Holmes, Gary Jensen at five. And Bill Amick, Wild Bill Amick, Portland, Oregon. Good start. We're giving it a good start. They're all legal. Brad Lewis on coming up on the inside. John Howell is stretching it out with the Sunny Jim Jam. The only the second round knows. 
It's a rage, Sunny Jim Jam, first place, it's Brad Lewis, second. All Sunny Jim Jam has to do is come across the line, John Howell. The winner is the Sunny Jim Jam. I still can't believe I won, but hey, I'll take well, it. Well, we knew you'd start winning races.
I ain't taking him, I'm running video here, so keep moving. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. You know, this, you want me to sign my autograph too? No. Not proving that yet. <laughs>
also have the Esquire product, the 1977 boat. Kirk Moffin will be the trailer, meaning he will start behind the field at the apex pin of the right-hand turn. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. One lap time win, Roberto. One. Is up again. Your leader right now is the Miss Budweiser. Second place vote is the Squire Shot. Okay, we got a dead boat in the right hand turn. First, one lap down, Miss Budweiser. Second, Squire. Third, 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 we got Squire products. We got a. We got, we got, okay, we got a dead boat at the end of the front straightaway. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Miss Budweiser leads after two laps. We got debris in the front straightaway. Third is a battle between the Tide and the Lumar. Coming around for a win, this will be David Newton winning the race. Second Woo! place is the Squire Shot. Third place, it's going to be the Tide, followed by the Lumar. <laughs> and here's your winner, David Newton.
Okay, this is your quick pit tour prior to the race for the RC Unlimited Diamond Cup here in beautiful Ellensburg, Washington. Okay. Rocket ship right there. Here's another one. There we go, so we product the, placement right there, the, no Verasi. No and then we'll take a look at it here. This boat's been an absolute rocket. You got your Budweiser uh, here. For electrics, we got six boats for the two. Cap Tran, long time racer. Here, how's it going, you guys? Good. Going for the win today. Oh win. Spirit of Qatar, back when Qatar had money. There's the Crash Master himself. Tore both sponsors <laughs> off his boat a week ago, testing. As in every, as in every phenomenal testing crash, the boat was going faster than it had ever gone before. Straight into the beach. You all have seen these before. This is kind of a full slate of Bob Brackett hulls. Perhaps the most beautiful hulls and workmanship you will ever see. There's the next generation right there. That's Aiden Brandt. Say hi, Aiden. This is a cool boat. Circus. Make reach paving. Let's take a look. Let's take a sneak peek. Let's see, we see a CMB. We see a billet. It's typical for David Brandt right here. He hashes and thrashes all throughout testing. 
always looks like he's not even going to be able to run his boat, not going to make it. And he throws it out there and it's the fastest thing ever. Every time. You can count on it. Heat 1B was won by the 9, the real track racing or whatever the heck it is. Bill Brant's rocket ship. Miss Eagle Electric. Who remembers this stuff from when you were a kid? I normally don't reach in another guy's pit, but... Oh yeah, you remember that if you're an old guy like me. Got some Jim Britton rocket ships over here. Hi, Jim. 7-Eleven. We're at the end of the pit. Lightning John Gaston's doing a touch-up on the X side. I'm gonna say the race setup is done on that boat. Okay, that's what we got. I gotta go get ready. More later. Boys are lined Four, up, ready four, to rock. Three, two, one. Last lap.
the traffic coming up in lane one. There he goes, he's all right. Course is clear. All right. First boat is all right. Okay, country boy is over. Your lead boat is the pink picket area. Followed by the stars. And it's just a super. Okay, we got... One more to go for the second. One more to go for the Notre Dame. Oh, the square shot just went dead. <laughs> Jeff Lee! Jeff Lee! The rookie! Coming around the turn! <laughs> oh! Jeffrey brings it home! That was the biggest dumpster fire with excitement that I've ever seen.
This is going to be your novice tenth scale final. Olympia Cup Got 2023. Aiden Grant, B. Rose, our judges. We got Noah and the Beast from the West, Lexi Brandt. Everybody's going to make a clean start on this. Noah, going to get the jump on him here in the Lumberville. And the U.S. is hot on his tails. Aiden in the U3 behind him. U.S. on the outside here. B. Rose making a run. Noah drifted out a little bit on B. Rose. Now we've got B. Rose making a move for the lead here down the front stretch. But the battle for two. Oh, the battle for two has died. She's going to come around and get that 2023 Columbia Cup victory. In the Miss U.S., steady as she can be. Brooklyn Rose. Oh, there it is. Congratulations on the big win. Two, one. Good start. 